Hi, Poncho. It's me, Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. Um, I you see you just made a recent video about me and I was going to respond to it, but then I saw that you made another video in May where you talked about getting a strike on your channel. And you also talked about some lessons that you've learned and you talked about that you're eating healthier now. And so I just wanted to say that I think that what you should try to do is go back to May, your mindset then, where you seem to be having some insight into what it is that you're doing wrong. And you talked about getting away from your computer and doing things that are actually better for you than playing video games. But for some reason, when you got COVID recently, just now in July, you did a video where you went back to your old ways, where you act like a 12 year old and you put images on, on the screen of yourself as being this black man. It's very bizarre behavior, Poncho. So listen, I'm gonna invite you one more time to actually watch the videos, the documentaries that I recommend. Okay, this is not a fight between you and me. It shouldn't be. I mean, you seem like you're a guy who is trying to find his way in life, but you keep falling back. So I know you said that you live in Georgia now, I'm pretty sure, and that you're trying to make your way as a musician. So maybe something happened and you didn't do that well, or maybe when you got COVID, you were in bed and just like, oh, I'm gonna upload some video. And you just like took a bunch of clips of me and just basically had the shittiest attitude. I mean, come on, I'm literally in a store showing people how they can eat fast food, which is bananas that you can buy two for 53 cents. And you're trying to imply to my audience that I somehow stole these bananas and was eating them in the store, which is not the case at all. I was sitting at the front of the store where they have that little cafe type place and where you can sit and eat the food that you bought or you can sit and wait for your partner to shop. I mean, why would you go ahead and do that and try to make it seem like I'm all these things that I'm not, especially referring back to a song that I composed years ago, which is about being against racism, which is about caring about black people, which is about caring about the Aboriginal people and women who are raped. And you cho simply showed the title and implied to your audience of um, over a million people that I am a racist, which is absolutely ridiculous. And you know, it's just goes on and on like that, Pancho. So I'm not sure what's going on with you. But here, do you see what's written on my tie? Okay, it says, look at it. Can you see it? a question are you brave enough to be vegan so that is my question for you poncho are you brave enough to be vegan what is stopping you i know you said you're trying to eat healthier but you know being vegan is not about food and you know it by now so i invite you to stop playing those video games on your videos apparently you're 20 years old now but you're still acting like you're 12 do an actual video. If you really want to talk to me, like you said you would like to, then make a video showing me that you have seen all of the documentaries that I've recommended. You can't just go talking about things that you know nothing about. I mean, if you have any ethics, any values at all, then you know that you have a responsibility to your younger, younger audience to tell them the truth about what happens to the baby chicks. And not just edit my videos out to make it seem like I'm this crazy person. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery, they lie to you endlessly. Don't buy eggs, walk away, go to egg-truth.com today. I'm here as an animal defender. And you know that, Poncho. I don't know what your real name is, but um, I urge you to stop using the image of the black person when you're chatting about things you put that in there it's just so weird I don't know who that person is I urge you to stop playing your video games in the middle of playing like because that's what young kids do go and educate yourself tell your audience what happens to the baby chicks why don't you tell them why don't you say that vegan teacher's right we shouldn't be eating eggs because they macerate the baby boys at just one day old you've seen the videos of the assembly line where they go falling down and they cut them into a million pieces so why don't you tell your audience? Why don't you help them to learn instead of just you know, spewing these lies over and over? I mean, aren't you getting tired of making videos about me where it's always the same thing? I, mean, I have a channel now on TikTok, as you pointed out, it has over 126,000 followers now. Why don't you just say, hey, way to go. Good for her, she's out there trying to raise awareness. Why don't you do that? You know, why is it that every time you make a video about me, you immediately put on your boxing gloves and you put on a whole shield of armor and you go into battle with me? Why don't you actually try to do a balanced video? 
So where you look at something that I've said and then go and research it. Now, in the case of the last video that you just did, you um, focused on, I was talk talking about baby birds and how it was so beautiful that they left the nest and how we shouldn't be e eating um, baby chicks and we shouldn't be eating uh, any animals. And you focus on a tennis ball that was on the hole covering the, the nest underneath my porch. So then you went and, you know, supposedly did some research about the tennis ball. Now, and then you, you went to a site which talks about tennis balls in the past and how they were made. And they were made sometimes with leather and sometimes with wool, which are not vegan, of course. But you imply that the tennis ball that was being used by me, first of all, that was bought by me, which it wasn't, and second of all, that it had these ingredients in it without knowing. So if you actually care about being a good guy, you would have said, ah, I wonder if Miss Katie knows that that tennis ball might have some wool in it. And then we could have a conversation, in which case I would say to you, no, it doesn't. I would never buy anything with wool or leather on purpose anyway. And as you know from the Call Me Chris video in the past, you know, sometimes vegans do use animal products because we live in this speciesist, carnist world. We have no choice. We have to live, but we try to do the least amount of harm. So you can start by doing the least amount of harm, Poncho, by starting off every day with buying vegan foods. You say you want to be healthy, so let's go with that. If it's a selfish reasons that you're here, then let's talk about that. Let's talk about you eating more lentils. Okay, are you buying lentils and putting them in your cart? That's what you could do. They are, they're high in protein, lentils, beans, chickpeas, flax seeds. Grind up some flax seeds and some chia seeds every morning and put those in your cereal because they are great for omega-3 fatty acids. If you're worried about iron, pack your blender with spinach as, as the base for your smoothie all the time. Just pack it in there and then add fruit afterwards. You know, I eat almost an entire gigantic package of spinach every day. So that's how you stay healthy. Does this mean that vegans don't get sick? No, of course we do. Now you got sick, you got COVID, and um, you got really sick and you eat meat all the time. And so, you know, people get sick and some people who are vegan can also get COVID. So let's just try to be reasonable, okay? Let's be balanced. Let's, uh, let's put this phone down here for a sec so I can have my hand free. And I want to remind you again what it says on my tie, okay? Are you brave enough to be vegan? Pancho, that's my message to you. I want you to be brave enough to look at the truth. It starts by looking at the truth. Take your audience on another journey. I know that you think it's fun to talk trash about everybody, but try to think about your life if you are actually somebody who cares about, excuse me, something deeper than just, you know, the surface, then you will go deeper. You will show that to your audience, okay? So you have a strike on your channel. I guess you don't wanna get another strike. It's understandable, but why don't you try to show the proper things? Try to help this world to be a better place. You have such a young audience who are impressionable and they would like to know the truth. I mean, come on, honestly, do you really feel proud of this yourself with the video that you did about me, attacking me personally, instead of looking at my words and what I'm saying? Like that clip where I'm wearing the shirt that talks about the rape, torture, and abuse that animals go through in the dairy industry, and you're just going blah, blah, blah over top? Like, does that make you feel like a man to cut my words off like that? Come on. Anyway, Pancho, I have to go and get on with my day today, so I wanna wish you um, a speedy recovery if you still have your COVID, and I hope that you, when you rise out of it, that you will be a decent guy. You know, the kind of guy that if I did meet in the street one day, he'd say, hey, Poncho, how's it going? How's your vegan life going? And you'll say, Miss Katie, I'm really sorry that I was mean to you all those years. And I'm really sorry that I didn't listen to you. And maybe one day, Poncho, you'll say, I'm really sorry I never took the time to watch those videos. And Miss Katie, you were right. I should have watched those videos. And Miss Katie, I don't call people bro anymore. I don't call them dog anymore. And I refer to you like a decent human being. Okay, Pancho, that's what I would like for you and I. Okay, so have a great day. And to everyone else, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so because I'm here to try to help people to learn the truth. It's really the only reason I'm here. It absolutely breaks my heart the way that the animals are treated. And I wanna thank everybody who's been vegan. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to all of you. And if anybody is watching this who knows Pancho, you know, give him a little nudge. Say, hey, Pancho, let's go try a vegan burger. Hey, Pancho. Let's cook together. Let's Google some vegan recipes, right? That's a way that you guys can help, okay? To everyone else, love you. Give yourself a big hug if you're trying. Even you, Poncho, come on, give yourself a big hug, all right? 
I know you're trying in your own way to be a decent guy, but you can do better. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Let's all that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's